Hello and welcome back to the Dungeon of Nahal book. I have leveled everyone up because the thief and someone else got levels as well. What? Nothing? Nothing, unfortunately. Um, who do I have to kill in order to open all these doors? What? Oh, what was that? Okay. So now that they all out, is any one of the rooms open that public now, please? <laughs> Victory! Hooray! A beautiful slaughter! So many guts splattered and blood spilled! Entrails and burst innards will look nice on the mine's walls! Ew! Not very feng shui! Aside from the fun part, you also have won us enough time for reinforcements to arrive. Holy cow. They have iron golems. I thought that was goblin technology. Yeah, let's leave it at that. <laughs> I don't want to end up flat as a pancake. Oh, are we making pancakes now? Yippee! You're full of surprises. A gift from the gods. You delivered a prisoner to me, then you vanquished our foes. Good, good. You should cut your elf's tongue, though. Yeah, well, uh, so what about our deal? First, I'll have to discover why the gates have been opened. It would be easier to heal the guards who were keeping the doors. If anyone survived, you could interrogate him and uncover his carelessness. <laughs> Save the dying, only to torture them after. Lovely. Ah, I like you. <laughs> <clears throat> there are some affections one could do without. Anyway, we've made some progress, haven't we? Can't we talk about our reward? I understand your impatience. But we could make a bigger move. Why don't you go to the inn while I impale some things on my schedule? Then we'll discuss some important matters. Well, Have the thing some is... fun and try our special brews. I won't be long. Okay then, killing some time, that sounds fine. Okay. I really don't like him. Plus his teeth are brown and yellow. What color would they be? Well, let's blow some steam off, it can't hurt. Go to fetch a few beers. You gotta admit, it's not the worst quest we've had. The optimism of adventurers is, more often than not, a subtle mix of naivete and stupidity. Or maybe they just don't want to be dead. Squashed. Where are you going? There's something else. Well, we've been killing countless of golems so far. Uh, I'm positive we've just found the inn. Put some points in knowledge of the underground, did you? It's a bit weird having a pup so close to the mines. Dwarves mine all day and drink all night. And we hate those that live on top. We'll finally be able to enjoy a nice, quiet, risk-free pint. Huh. Look, that dwarf seems to be heading our way. Ha! So you guys are the topsiders. You dared to bring an elf in here. Shame on you. In my day, we would have pulled your guts through your nostrils for this. You Goldberg stains! The hell did he just say? I think we should let it go. We're here to kill some time, not get in trouble. Go eat shit and die, you unwashed Nagra gas. You guys heard it? He insulted me back! He took up my challenge! The what? Ugh. Sadly, I think I know what's going on. Well, I don't. By cussing back at Goral Talk, our current great duel of Supreme Insults Champion, your topsider dwarf has risen to his challenge and contested his title. Oh, that's... I'll take him down right now. Should we try to de-escalate? The cussing duel must start right away. The loser shall humiliate himself before the winner and bear his mark of infamy. Say, out of curiosity, does this Goral Talk win often? He's been undefeated for 114 years! Oh my, that's quite the record. I'm sure our dwarf is a bigger asshole. Was that a compliment? <laughs> Don't know how to react. Enough blabbering! Let the fight begin! Well, maybe begin by telling me how you guys do it. Hey, have a right to know the rules. Sounds fair. Goral Talk is the running champion, so he'll speak first. Then you answer, Topsider. I'll be giving you a theme for the insults and announce the winner. They seem to have a skewed vision of fairness around here. Cousin duels are very serious business to the dwarves. Cheating or being biased would be a dishonor. The first to get three winning insults wins the match. 
The loser shall humiliate himself before him, and shame shall spread on his clan and offspring. Yeah, yeah, got it. Bring it on, if you can still talk without losing your fake beard. Hmm. The first insult shall be directed towards your opponent's clan. Your clan is so cringy, your coat of arms is made of crotch yarn. Insulter dignity. Your clan is so low class, your warriors get to drink with ours piss. Uh uh. Victory goes to Garltok. Easy. Next, you shall insult his armor. He's got the upper hand. Don't let him keep the lead. Yeah, plus you can't catch up with anyone with those tiny legs. Why don't you just leaf, let us face? Careful. You can't insult anyone else but your opponent during the duel. Well, I'll turn a blind eye to that one. I mean, it is an elf. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Your armor is so shitty, it looks like an ogre wiped himself on it. Insult the craftsmanship. Well, it's so shitty, it looks like it is the appearance. That's... Your armor's got more holes than my grandma's underwear. Oh, snap. It's hard. If you know his granny, ha! <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, nothing. I was thinking about Geralta. Uh, victory goes to the topsider. Coming from behind. Next, you shall insult his face. We're tied. He's got some pretty sick burns. Says he has some soothing cream if it hurts. Your face looks like a moldy turnip. Your face is like a toad on a stick. Uh, point goes to Garltok, who takes the lead. Ha! Uh, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> now you shall insult your opponent's insults. professional activity. The uh. swindler has almost won. I'm just getting started. Trust me. Now go for it. You pony tamer. <sighs> You're a barber for elven armpits. Let me think. Yeah. I'll give this one to the topsider. You're tied to all. Oh, yes, you will be mine. You have no idea what's coming for you. It's come to this. The last insult. Oh. Instant death. You have free reign on this one. Oh, this contest is ruthless. Uh, the suspense is killing me. You flip-flop wearing dung bucket. <laughs> insult his family. You bastard son of an incestuous goat. Mm, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all things considered, victory goes to the champion. Allow me to revel in my triumph. <laughs> ha! Too easy. I knew it. The topsider's vocabulary has a wit of spoiled cabbage and couldn't fill the holes in some old moldy cheese. Yeah? Ah, uh, fuck this shit. Someone get me a pint. I'll drink this away. Can my you ears are bleeding from all these bad vibes. At least some good came out of that. Well, we're here to kill some time, so mission accomplished. Yeah, but my dignity's been trampled. Ah, God damn it! I'm gonna have to walk around with this shitty rune for 66 winters. Let's go back to the king now. Can you win this? I'm not quite sure. Oh, let's sell our st Let's rest. And let's sell our stuff. We can ten wait. Yes. 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 Yeah, I'm not giving you our thief this executioner hood. It's worse than what we have. This I think it's worse. No, I might be wrong. Maybe I should sell those things. Oh, we have lots of gold. Thanks to our dwarf. Keeps hoarding it and <laughs> isn't really willing to spend it. We can't keep using the goblins, golems, radiant torturer. This goes against all of our laws. Our people are getting restless. Silence! Do you want to meet the same end as Brastok? The people will do what we tell them to do, as usual. The people are too dumb to understand. Oh, great deceiver, the adventurers request your audience. Ah, perfect. Leave us. You know, for our reward, don't bother with gold. 
Allowing us to see your anvil will be plenty enough. Don't worry, we won't take very long. If you want to throw in some gold, we'll manage, we'll suffer. You're talking about our culture's most meaningful and sacred object. The big anvil is the vessel for the divinity which represents the very essence of these mines. He's trying to bamboozle you again. Okay, but still, we closed your gates for you. The honor of coming close to the anvil is not easily earned. And slaughtering some trogilogs is not nearly enough. But there might be a way. Something tells me the deal is not going to be a fair one. Chaos Wars 101. Something that sounds fair to them will be considered an aggravated crime with cruel intent in most cultures. Why are you talking so quietly? He can't hear us. <sighs> so, there's this usurper. The one you brought us back, Braz Tok. He's my nephew, and he's plotting against me. <sighs> Family business can be hairy stuff. Once I lost a few chickens, and some people got mad at me. Anyway, I have great responsibilities, you know. I have to hold this city no matter the cost. And we've been facing adversity ever since our tunnels crossed the Trogilorks. Hmm, Brastok would risk all of our lives to quench his thirst for glory. He wants to dethrone me, and yet... I'm the only one who can hold Uruk's depths against these monsters. Quarter him, then. A punishment that gentle would befit the clemency one shows to close relatives. Tis true. The problem is he has many supporters, and I can't execute him without risking a civil war. I want to maintain unity among my people. They perceive me as debonair. Debone him, then, for all I care. I'm starting to get the gruesome point. We could talk him into being a good boy, have him hug his uncle and all. Excuse me? Would you shut up? I'm negotiating. Yeah, I get you. I know what it's like having big responsibilities and being surrounded by dimwits. Like when you used to stuff chairs and chase chickens. In any case, you want us to deal with Brastock, is, is that right? Make sure he has a tragic toothbrush accident? Hmm? Yeah? I don't care about the details. I'll give you his cell's key. Just tell the prison guard I sent you to bury him with insults. I leave the rest to you. Good. We will think about it. God, this mission sucks. Political opponents always meet gruesome ends. My father usually feeds them to his hounds. It's probably best to go there first. We'll make a decision later. So what do we do? Let's go. We'll make a decision when we get there. Uh, these caves are full of echoes. Relevant as always. Okay, let's go to the prison. Let's visit the prison, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Oh. I hope I could. <laughs> Zoom it out even more. I don't really can, but. Oh, oh well. Hello. Oh, we'll have Stop to right there! You can't go in there! We have the jail keys, so let us pass, please. And how come you do, huh? The king gave them to us, so we can go in to humiliate Braz Talk. I've got some spare pop to it. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, kick his teeth in for me, would you? I guess. But first things first. What's that? Reasonable. I suppose we went... There! Just it's our that. guy! Traitors! Bastards! Topsiders! Hey, mind your mouth, you cave swine! The king sent us here for you, with a gruesome task to accomplish. That vile scumbag only thinks of his own glory and fortune. He cares nothing for our people. Well, he says you're the one who'd sacrifice everything for your ambitions. His greed had us delve too deep in the search for gems and gold. He's responsible for the Trogilorks attacking us. We stumbled on one of their lairs. Ah, oh, it's always the same with dwarves. Instead of sealing off the mines he exploits for precious minerals, he chose to hire iron golems forged by the goblins. Ugh, goblins. Now that is revolting. I just wanted to collapse the mine shafts and send back the golems and the mercenaries who maneuver them. That's it, but it got me banished and exiled. Uh, politics can be harrowing. But it's not too late. Join my cause. We'll make my uncle bite the dust. And turn our coats? I didn't bring a coat. Anyone got a spare? 
When I am king, I'll give you access to the big anvil. But if you keep your word to Nurse Atok, he'll use and betray you. Oh boy, these dwarves are nasty. They should learn to hug it out. This is a Cornelian dilemma. Hmm? Dilemma? Who is she? Sir, we now have the choice between betraying the king to join the traitor who might not be one, or betraying the traitor who might not be one to join the king who might be a traitor. My head hurts. Let's just kill them all, and then it's good. Ah! How about a big party to bring everyone closer together with balloons and pancakes? Blood of fiesta, yippee. The thief is right. Either we stay true to the rightful king and deny the renegade, or we give our trust to the zealot prince and fight the apostate monarch. I didn't get all those words. Is betraying a traitor truly betraying anyone? Oh, damn, you guys are so dense. Let's trust the sun. I mean, the king does seem to be a twisted sadist. Yeah. So maybe it's best to free you. Thanks. I I'm glad know. you've seen through his deceptions. I haven't, really. What do you mean, I've heard something? Prince, here we are. You're free. We've used a rune of instant secret passage. Thanks. I have won us more supporters to our cause. Ah, great. They even brought us an elf so we can sacrifice her to appease the gods. Uh, excuse me? Ah, the king told us to keep an eye on you bunch of topside shits. You'll pay for your betrayery. Actually, it's betrayal. Mm, just we were finding on a sacrifice the elf. Deal with those scoundrels. We'll be going to the throne room to get rid of the king. Meet up with us once you're covered in their guts up to your shoulders. Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. Sure. Which you front row. Actually, I think I would have turned you into you. Having you. I think it didn't work. Okay, sure. Let's try it. I'll send you back up in pieces. I'll shatter your spleen! That's even better, I guess. Yep. If they all get here together... You'll suffer, topsiders! Yeah. And now we can get him in. We'll hit him with that. And possibly destroy this obstacle. How many sting steel cans does it take to create that move? <laughs> That's fine. Honestly, it's fine. That's a little bit worse. So let's get you in here. Just say nope. You try doing that. Oh, we rock. Kinda worked. We managed to get a little bit closer, so this works. That's gonna be a mayhem. Okay, luckily they didn't blow up that barrel. Good job, Elf. Good job. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, it's not like you can kill anyone with that, so... Look at this. Okay, next trick you're gonna disappear. You see me. You, I want in here, and I think you're gonna get some opportunity. Mm. Good deal, Wallace! Good deal, Wallace! Nice. What the hell was that? Ah! 
Okay. I think that's better. Toga, swala, bootwaza! That was a trans. We could have killed them. Unfortunately, it didn't work. It's the same. How do we get out of. I actually kill him. Or try at least. Oh dear. We land every shot with Overwatch and can't hit anything with our normal shots. Okay, hit him. Ah! Oh, nice. That was very nice. Take this, chicken Ow. shit! Doesn't matter. Can you kill anyone of any of them? Not quiet. Mm, I don't want you to move. So maybe I should delay your turn. Let's see if it works. I guess it's fine. Can't really make it to anyone, can you? Fortunately, your stuff ends this turn as well. So should it be. They're even nastier than I was! Oh. Okay, try knocking me out. Good job. Shoot him. Ah! And get out of there. Oh, why didn't I stay upstairs? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. You had the choice. Really Take that up. worm! Yeah. Oh, that didn't hurt. Our poison is very powerful. Oh. Not thieves, but... You do realize I still have... Mm, console is burning frozen. Gala him. Yep, that works. Now go back. Hi everybody! 
We have ricocheted, not yet. There is a train. <laughs> Backstab. Finally. <laughs> he isn't quite that quite oh, yet. You can eat it, my but that one is. Peeking the back over here. <laughs> no matter what the other one do does, he's dead. <laughs> so I can pretty much just send everyone over there. He can't move away. The best thing he can try is to do this. Please. Oh, I really hope to. I forgot about that. I want to see how it works. This is it just. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And get over here and kill the barbarian. Are you serious? You have to heal right, right. Kill him. Thank you. Maybe by helping the I'm sun. fine. My books are fine. Everything is mm. fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe by helping the sun, we'll be able to ruin Good, we got them all. Really. Brastok and his men took off. An instant secret passage? It must be some kind of magic dehydrated powder preparation. Huh, that is very handy. Yeah, especially to compensate for the lame wizards or bad thief. They're headed towards the throne room. Three dickheads and their rusty axes. They're gonna get crushed by the golems. If Brastok loses, we lose our key to the anvil. Forward, to the throne room. I can always have got him. He says we could use one to hit the other. Why not? As long as it gets us to the anvil. Forward to the throne room! Yeah, in a minute. I want to open this last cell with Chesty in it. I don't know about you. I'll supervise the opening. Oh, Dragon Strikes. Let's see, this is the last one. No, we need to try it apart. At the strike's peak, famished dwarves were bickering with each other on the smooth things, jumping on the occasion to settle old farming quarrels. This conflict caused hundreds of victims and a wave of famine, up until a somewhat clear-headed leader declared that, yeah, summer's whole deal with it, find yourself a fucking heart. Only then, Frodo rescinded his complaint and everyone muttered their way back to work. Things were finally in order. Let's no, see. stay out of my pockets. Oh. It is better. I'll give you that. Thanks. Is this for me, really? And I'm gonna give you that crossbow. Anything else? No way Excuse I'm giving it away. Nope. What's in there? Ah, my bad. For you, protection strength. I think I'll give you that. Okay. But actually, I think that's gonna be it for today. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!